Hello, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up your own Minecraft server using the Bucket Server software. So, in my last Minecraft server video, I showed you how to set up a Minecraft server using MC Admin, but I think Bucket is a lot better, it's a lot more customizable, and I just I just love it. So, first of all, we'll just go to ci.bucket.org, and go ahead and go to Build History, or you can probably just click DevCraft Bucket here and just find the most recent build, so I'm going to go with this one up here okay don't go with that one, that's the wrong decision, go with this one <laughs> and if you're unlucky it might come up with some past errors, just ignore those I don't know what they're all about but here it is, here's the file we really want, craft bucket 001 snapshot so just download this file, so just click on it and save it somewhere, I've already got one saved so just save that and move it to your server folder somewhere So I'm in my folder here. Now you notice I have this jar file and I also have a bat file which I haven't told you about. So I've just got a bat file called startserver.bat which you see quite a lot used with buckets so I'm just going to right click it and click edit to show you what's inside. So basically what happens is we turn echo off so that means when we run commands it doesn't show the directory. Then we run this java command which basically just executes this craft bucket jar file and then we just pause and then what, basically what this does is it launches this jar file so it turns on our server and it also means that the server log can be shown in that console window because if you just double click the jar file it'll work but you won't see your server log so just test this out, let's just start server and the first time you run it, it may have to generate the world so mine's generating now because I haven't already specified one, which is fair enough. So it's just going to generate all the stuff for your first time. So just give it a minute. And okay, it says done, so it is done. Now please note, if you haven't got all your ports forwarded, other people won't be able to connect to this, or it might just not work. But I think it should work, it's just other people won't be able to connect. So if you want to know how to forward your ports, I do that in my other Minecraft server video where I talk about MC Admin, so if you want to know how to do that, you can look over there, I'm not going to go through it again. So you'll notice this generated all these files which you can fully customize, and we also have our world here, so if you're going to place it with one of your own worlds, just replace all the files in this world folder here. Also in plugins, I suggest you download Bucket Essentials, just google that and you can download it, and all you really have to do is shove the jar files and stuff in here and that's going to mean you have a ton more commands and stuff. I know I have that on my server right now, it's absolutely brilliant. So it really is that simple. If we just go into the console, um, someone called Dr. Brian has just tried to connect to my server, and then, I don't know why they disconnected, I think they have quite laggy internet, so they've probably just disconnected from their lag rather than anything to do with me. But as you can then see from that, the server is fully functional. And <laughs> he's logging in again because I've got him on Skype now listening to me. So, that's the end of this video. I think Bucket is really, really good server software, and if you're using MC Admin currently, I would definitely suggest switching to Bucket. And, <laughs> yep, Dr. Brian, you're absolutely famous. Shout out to Dr. Brian. That's the end of this video, and have a nice day.